This is the Falcon A1 laser engraver and cutter. In this video we'll unbox it and go over what it comes with and talk about the machine itself. If you're interested in seeing more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and click on notification bell so you'll be notified once I upload a new video. Alright, let's take it out of the box. One thing I do want to mention is that I like how organized and well it's packaged and how everything is placed inside the product or machine itself, making the overall package size as small as possible. There isn't anything loose flying around and everything's properly cushioned. So we do get a nice and thick user manual with clear explanations of how to operate the Falcon A1, some accessories and tools which will be needed for unscrewing or screwing on and attaching parts, the power adapter and cable, an exhaust hose which gets mounted to the back to exhaust fumes, and an air pump. What's cool about this is that it's an enclosed engraver which doesn't require the use of goggles. Unlike some other cutters and engravers which require protective goggles for your eyes, this one is pretty much plug and play without any hassles. However, do keep in mind, you don't want to use this inside your house or apartment unless you have the exhaust set up in a way to completely exhaust all the fumes out and proper ventilation in the room you're using it in. The laser does burn through wood and other objects, causing some smoke and smell which you don't want to inhale nor keep lingering in your house. So it would be best to use it in an open garage or open environment or some sort of workshop to prevent dangerous fumes from being inhaled. On the side you have a power switch, an emergency lock, a start button, the power input port, the air pump power port, the lock and unlock key, a USB-C port, the air inlet port, and a port for a rotary kit. On the back we can see the exhaust where the exhaust hose gets attached to. This doesn't have a built-in display and an all-in-one per se type of system to run completely on its own, even though you can plug in the flash drive, so you will need a computer to connect it via USB cable to run the software and apply your designs or cuts and make use of the built-in camera. This built-in camera is definitely useful since it provides a full picture of your workspace to be able to properly select and input your cuts or designs you want to engrave. It can also be used to scan QR codes on different materials you purchase from Creality, making it easier to switch between types of material without having to manually input the settings for the laser. Talking about the laser, it's a 10 watt laser so it's not the strongest one, but it's good for engraving and for mild or thin cuts, nothing heavy duty. It is a diode laser, so you won't be able to cut through or engrave into metal, unless the metal is painted, at which point you'll be able to laser off the paint, providing a similar effect to engraving. This type of machine would be good for someone who's working on small personal projects or for customization purposes. For example, if you wanted to customize and engrave your own designs, name, or logo on products you want to make more unique to you. You can also use it for making small business cards out of different materials or cutting thinner materials for projects you may be working on. Now a laser engraver or cutter can be a daunting experience if you have never worked with one before. However, the Falcon A1 removes that complication with its user-friendly, easy to set up and use system. This was my first laser cutter, and right out of the box I already got the feeling that it was going to be fairly simple to work with, so if you are a beginner, this is one you should definitely consider. The application is easy to understand and use, and you can always watch some online videos to give you some pointers if you aren't sure what you're doing. To start off, I engraved my channel logo onto a piece of basswood. When you start the project, the air vacuum will start first before the laser to exhaust the fumes while it's working. After engraving, I use the laser cutter to cut out the logo, as well as letters. When using the laser cutter, it will generate more smoke due to the laser cutting through the material at a higher setting and for a longer duration. However, I was happy with the fact this is an enclosed cutter, 
so the smoke and fumes get exhausted through the exhaust hose and keep the toxic fumes away from you. I was very happy with the quality of the engraving as well as the cutting. They came out really nice and you can see how thin and precise you can get with a laser cutter. They do also have free laser files you can download and make use of, so if you want to browse some pre-made files and select ones you like, you can save yourself some time in making a custom one. Downloading a pre-made design is simple and can be done directly from the app. There are many pre-made projects which can be downloaded and can be filtered categorically. Once downloaded, they can be opened or imported into the app and resized. The parameters are automatically adjusted for the time and strength of the laser, and you can manually adjust the size of the design before you start engraving or cutting. Once you take the picture of your workspace with a built-in camera and place the design where you want it on your material, it's as easy as hitting start. Designs you engrave can also be cut out and turned into coins, posters, wall art, and many other things. You can also engrave items you own to better personalize them to your liking. For example, you can engrave onto metal with a picture or even text. Keep in mind the metal would need to be painted, so the engraving would basically laser off the painted section to give you an image. If you purchase the material from Creality, they do come with cards which can be laid inside the Falcon A1, and the camera will automatically scan the QR code on the card and adjust the laser settings for the specific material you're using. If not, you can easily adjust the levels yourself. Bottom line, this laser engraver and cutter is great for beginners and makes it simple by doing a lot of the work for you. It's easy from setup to finish. As for the price, it's set at 599 US dollars, so it is a fairly affordable unit compared to some other higher end and more complex ones which can run at least double if not triple the price. With that being said, I'll place links in the description for anyone who's interested in picking up the Falcon A1 by Creality, and I'll see you in the next video.